You remember uh, some months ago that people all over the country heard the sounds of the children crying in the prisons in South Texas. I feel like this is a, a way I can help out the uh, refugee community uh, in a small way. Um, it's nothing dramatic or anything, but it is helpful to them. I stand at the, stand at the door, and as I see people coming out uh, that I suspect are Latinos, uh, I tell them I hold a bottle of water in my hand and some and a bag of food, and I say there's food and water on the table over there, and I'll point that to the people here at the table to uh, go and get what I tell them it's free, uh, and people respond immediately. So we've been doing this now for about, I guess maybe, maybe uh, two months, two and a half months, I can't remember exactly. We've been, people have been down here every day in the morning at nine o'clock to meet the nine o'clock bus that comes up from the south, and then a group of us meet in the afternoon for the afternoon bus that comes up from the south. I asked them too how the situation was in, in the prisons in South Texas, mm -hmm. and they will say it, it was very cold. They'll all say it's really cold. And uh, they, they, some of them are in there for two weeks, We've been providing them with jackets and sweaters and blankets as well, because they say it's so cold on the buses. They're all asylum seekers. They're all coming from detention centers in South Texas, in McAllen, where they've been released. Most of them that come through here are destined for New Jersey, New York. I would say that these people are, uh, are obviously very poor, very frightened, afraid of the gangs back home, afraid of the violence that's happening because of the gangs, and uh, that, that they feel that they have no, no future in, in, um, in Honduras, Guatemala, and Salvador. Many of them will say that we've been threatened, and uh, we'll say, too, that uh, some of our family has been killed. So I hear that story, that part of the story too. I see in these people, the faces of these people, the, the poorest of the poor, the people who are, have, have very little to draw upon um, in many, many different ways. And I feel like they are the, the God's chosen people. And I see these people too as, as kind of like being, on an, being in an exodus, uh, heading from leaving the violence of Egypt, or Honduras in this case, <laughs> and um, moving, coming to the, uh, finding a place of refuge, uh, a promised land, if you will.